James Bond is James the Wine Guy. In this video, I'm going to talk about this beautiful Firestone Farmhouse Ale. Stay tuned. Now, I've just been so compelled to do a beer review and something I haven't done in quite some time because I've been so busy traveling, a lot of wines to review, and, uh, you know, it's getting back to center point of really, you know, uncovering, discovering the beautiful art form of the beverage art forms. And for me, this is my, one of my favorite things to do is to taste farmhouse ales. I still love IPAs, of course, and I do bring that out because my video content has a lot of IPAs. So I haven't forgotten about IPA or even red ale. And I just love the art form of um, beer. So we do live in the best of wine times and the best of beer times, the best of spirit times. And that's, I think a lot of people have found it and took it upon themselves to create these beautiful ales, create these beautiful gins, vodkas, and wines, and giving that interpretation, that beauty, that uh, I think we find this sense of uh, you know, refinement in the beverage art forms. So this is Firestone Opal Dry Hopped Saison Farmhouse L 7.5%. Uh, this is brewed and bottled in Paso Robles, and that's where I was this summer. And uh, so I actually didn't get to visit. And so that was my, uh, you know, desire to find this here in San Francisco and to taste a beautiful farmhouse ale. And uh, so this is uh, from Paso Robles. But they do have a, a brewery in uh, Buellton where I was also. It was just up the street. And uh, being what time is, so many appointments and so forth and, and a busy packed agenda, I didn't have time to go. So the next best thing is to have a bottle right here. So for me, I, I think farmhouse ales are just really civilized. I love to find a beer to enjoy with food or by itself. And I think that Saison speak to me in a very, um, you know, very specific way. I just in the world of Saisons because for me, they give me a flavor characteristic and a scent profile that is really uh, matching my uh, needs and uh, requirements at any given time. So it's a beautiful uh, characterization of farmhouse ale, a great tradition coming from Belgium. So when I serve this, I'm not going to serve it in a uh, beer glass or traditional beer glass. I want to serve this in a burgundy glass because for me, I really want to swirl this around, get some swirl action and uh, really lift the characteristics of this um, ale. So here we go for scent characteristics, flavor profile, and the point score. So on this um, exquisite notes of biscuit, Meyer lemon zest, high biscuits, almond orchard. Mm. Additional notes of nutmeg and other baking spices as well. So here we go next with the flavor characteristics and then the point score. Mm. Outstanding notes of Meyer lemon zest, yellow peach, almond, pine nut, biscuit, and cardamom. I give this beautiful ale a 9.3 on my 10.0 scale. Think of this as 93 points out of 100 points. And for more, uh, generally, I'm going to do a lot more wine reviews. But please seek me out in this channel, James the Wine Guy. And you're going to find a variety of uh, beverage art forms. That is beer, gin. You're going to find coffee as well. So stay tuned for more. And you'll find me on many social medias. Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Thank you so much for following me today. Stay tuned for more.